Hey guys, Andy LaViolette here with PremiumBeat.com. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to edit together, um, say for example, a music video that was shot in a traditional single camera format that might yield uh, very high numbers of uh, camera angles to deal with. Okay, you can see here that I've created a session with footage imported that's already synchronized to audio that the band has submitted to me. In this particular project, I have 10 camera angles that I'm working with, um, and I have them all labeled um, differently so that I can recognize them in some way as I'm going through the edit. You'll also notice that each of my tracks are as different colors. This helps me because when I'm going through, especially if I have something like 20 different camera angles to work with, it becomes a little confusing to simply identify each track based on the track label via text. I'm a visual person, so I like to see things grouped in colors. So for me, in this particular um, scenario, I've uh, labeled each uh, instrument as a particular color so that I can very quickly see um, that they are related to each other, but they're just different perspectives. I've gone through and done this for each of the instruments so that I'm already ready to start editing using the target track method. You'll notice that on the left hand side of the screen there's a blue indicator showing which track um, is currently highlighted as the target track. You can click these and select numerous tracks at a time. So although video tracks 1, 3, and 5 are highlighted in this particular instance, video track 1 is still considered the target track. What I want to do is I want to deselect all of these and I want to scroll up to the very top of where all my tracks are listed. So in this case, I have an empty track at the top of my sequence, right now just called Video 11. I was able to do this by going to the left-hand side where the tracks are listed, right-clicking in the empty space, and saying Add Track. I can scroll up and see that now another track has been created. For now, I don't need an additional track, so I'm going to say Command-Z for Undo to bring me back to where I started. I want to target Video Track 11 as my target track so that all of my inserts and paste are directed straight to video track 11. So I click on the V11, and since it's blue and highlighted on this track, I can see that it is indeed the target track. I'd like to rename this track, so I'm going to right click on video 11, and say rename, and I'll just call this print track. So now everything that I paste or insert will go directly to this new targeted track called print track. You might also notice that in Adobe Premiere, it functions very similarly to the way that Photoshop, Illustrator, and many other programs work in the sense that you have layers within your sequence. In this way, the way Premiere works is that the highest track um, that is visible um, is what is being displayed on the program monitor. So if I click the eyeball button, it will show the track directly beneath as long as there's an eyeball on that track as well. And I can continue in this manner all the way down to the very bottom if I want to. One important quick key in this method is to know how to select the razor blade as well as the normal arrow key. So the two shortcuts are that are the letter C for cut and the letter V, which is shaped like an arrow, kind of looks like an arrow. So I might want to start with my singer at the shot of the car, for example. So I'll go here, he's in the car. I'm going to turn off this video 10 track. And I'm going to let this play until I decide I want to switch to another angle. So I'm letting it play, and great. We'll take it from there. I make my cut at the timeline head. I hit the letter V for the arrow key. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to hit Command C for copy. In this particular workflow, knowing the quick keys is very important so that you can get through it very quickly. So I've hit Command C, and now I'm going to hold down Shift and click, and it's going to snap to the beginning of the, the next cut in my sequence. That brings me exactly back to the endpoint. So now if I hit the Paste command, Command V, you'll notice that that clip right here has now been pasted to the very top of my print track. I'm going to repeat this process several times over again, going through and choosing each camera one clip at a time um, to create a, uh, a composition on the top print track that will essentially be a finished multicam edit music video. I'll do a little bit of that now so you can watch. So my next clip, maybe I decide, okay, it's, I want to go to the live band. So I might go down, I have to turn off each of these individually until I get down to the live band. I'll say I think it'd be good to start with 
um, maybe a shot of the, the singer in the live band. So since my playhead is right at the end of this clip here, I'll go ahead and say, okay, here's my singer on this track, video track seven. I hit C to open up the cutting tool and I can see that I'm now synchronized with the playback head. So I click there, I'll let it play for a sec. I'm gonna zoom in by hitting plus, 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 and I can zoom out using minus, minus, minus. I click there, now I hit V so I can easily select this clip. So in this instance, I'm gonna hit the up arrow so I return to my last edit point. I've copied my clip down here by hitting Command C, so I'll hit Command V and continue on. I'll continue to choose other angles I want by meticulously using the um, eyeball keys so that I can select which of the angles I'm able to see. Here I'll use a shot of the drums. Select, I'm doing Command C to copy, up arrow to return to my previous edit, Command V to paste. Now I know that maybe I wanna to go to the guitar player ca camera. So I'll highlight that track and hit play. I'll let it play until I decide I've had enough of that particular angle. I'll hit up to return back to my last edit point. And I can see here that this is exactly where my last edit was, so I'll make a cut there, hit the letter V for the quick key for the arrow, select, Command C, Command V to paste. Now just to see some of the work that I've done, I'll go ahead and scroll up to the top just to see the comp track that I've created thus far. So I've scrolled to the top and I can see that so far I have these four clips and as I go back to play them all, I can see that they are indeed uh, reflecting the edits that I made correctly. Of course, they don't make any sense right now, but I'm just using it for an example. So you can go through and you can edit the entire piece this way. And again, it's very time consuming and it's very meticulous work, but when you have something like 20 angles, but you have an idea of the storyline that you want to edit, believe it or not, this actually can be a, more um, of a better use of your time than, than any other methods. So I hope this is helpful to you in some way. Of course, these types of approaches to multi-camera editing um, are very specific to each project's needs, your computer functions, the amount of time you have, and how well planned out and organized you are in the pre-production process before you begin editing. So if this was helpful, please stay tuned to premiumbeat.com for more tutorials. I'm Andy LaViolette. Good luck.